Hello and welcome back. This picture from last time, reference variable jump, it shows some characteristic values. How good or how bad is this? How can I compare two different control systems? Basically, what we need to, to compare is the area of error. So here is an error. This is the control error. The difference between the reference value and the regulated value. This is the error. And we could say the bigger the error is, the more this, this control ah, sucks. The smaller the error is, the better the control is. However, we cannot just summarize it. Why? Because here the error would be positive, here it's negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And if, if we end up in a swing, the error would be summed up zero. It would look perfect, but in reality we are swinging. So we need to do something else than just summing up the error. So the error is unlimited minus x from t. This is the control error. So and we said we are not summing up simply, but for instance we can sum up the absolute error. So we're integrating from zero to unlimited the error but not only the error, we're using the absolute error. Yeah? Dt. This criteria is the so-called integral of absolute area. Integral of absolute error. Integral of absolute error, EI. Okay. That's one possibility. Yeah? It's basically a simple, simple uh, building of the sum. However, it does not take into account how severe this error is. As you could say, hey, small errors I don't think are not that critical, but large errors must get into quite critical. So, it's not enough to use the absolute value, then we can square it. The nice thing about squaring is also negative value will get positive. And small changes are smaller, big errors are bigger because of the square. So it's the quality criteria, integral of squared error. Also summarize. And also e from t, but this time we just use this squared yeah? integral of squared errors. Easy. Yeah? Also a possibility of comparing two things. Then we could say, okay, here at the beginning. Uh, Okay, there must be an error. There must simply be an error. This is not that important. Yeah? But here at the end, yeah, the longer it takes, the more severe, I think, are the errors. Huh? Also, this is possible. Huh? So we could simply summarize from zero to unlimited, again the error, yeah? and multiply this with t. Okay. Then the bigger t is, t starts here, the bigger t is, the more severe the error will be taken into account. And of course, I can do it also with the absolute value. Yeah. This is the integral of time whited absolute error. Yeah. Integral of time whited absolute error. Yeah. Okay. 
also a possibility. The big difference to this one is that later errors are more, are more have more impact on this number which is coming out here. And of course I can make the same thing here with the squared. So I sum up the error multiplied by t and this time I square it. That's the integral of squared of time weighted squared error. Yeah. It's a. Integral of time weighted squared errors. Integral of squared errors, integral of absolute error, integral of time weighted absolute error. What you use is up to you. What you use is up to you. It depends a little what where you put your focus on. Yeah? But then you can compare two different control methods yeah, by comparing the values. Of course, entire value to entire value and not in between. Yeah? You have to use the same on both control systems to get a comparison. Basically, the smaller the numbers are, the better the system is. These are integral quality criteria. Like I said, which one you use is up to you. Well, now we can tell if some system can be controlled or not. Yeah, or hardly controlled, let's call it hardly controlled. We can tell some numbers about the quality and we can even give a number which is showing the quality just as a number. Here you see this is what we call stable. That at least we will reach an end point. This is a very natural thing to demand. I want the control to be stable. In the next videos we're going to talk about stability of control loops. Next video will be a little bit more complex. We're talking about uh, this from a mathematical approach. We will lay the basics on how to analyze stability of control loops. This will be next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.